Hey guys, Barrett here at SoundPure, doing something a little different today. Uh, I thought we'd talk a bit about a somewhat often asked question I get and something that applies uh, to all the instruments we have here. We're going to talk a little bit about scale length and sort of how that relates to 12 versus 14 fret guitars. Um, so uh, I get questions on what scale length means. Sometimes there's the, the misconception that a short scale means 12 frets to the body, long scale means 14 frets. So I thought I'd just say a little bit about, uh, about those things to maybe clear it up, um, help us think about what it means tonally um, as well as physically. Uh, so the scale length is just going to be the distance from the nut to the saddle, or more precisely, the distance from the nut to the 12th fret multiplied by 2. Uh, so when people talk about a short scale, it's typically 24 and 3 quarters inches. Long scale is 25 and a half, 25 and a quarter, over 25. And then, of course, you've got things in between. Um, but basically, a, a greater scale length, a longer string length, is going to mean more tension. So it uh, typically some things you can expect from a uh, like a, a short scale guitar, for example, um, a little less tension, so a little more sort of uh, wiggle room and punch. A lot of smaller body guitars tend to have short scales. Um, a lot of what we might think of as a great blues guitar would be short scale because you can really dig into it and get a nice percussive kind of sound out of it. Um, they tend to be more comfortable too. Your fingers are just fighting against a little bit less tension compared to a long scale. Um, sort of the trade-off between short scale and long scale. Long scale, there's, there's more tension, so you're having to work a little harder with left and right hands. Sometimes long scale guitars lend themselves more to a, a flat pick. Not always, but sometimes. Um, but the trade-off is you get more articulation, note-to-note -note separation, uh, and volume too, particularly if you're strumming. Um, on some short scale guitars, if you really lay into it, it'll kind of break up and be a little too, too much string noise going on. So that's kind of a general uh, distinction between the two. Um, now in terms of 12 frets to the body versus 14 frets to the body, in ter um, instead of thinking about 12 or 14 frets as a length measurement from the nut to where the neck meets the body, think of it more as a difference in relation between uh, where the neck meets the body, where the sound hole is, where the bridge is, and where the bracing is. So in other words, uh, you can have a long scale 12 fret guitar, it'll be the same length, uh, but that, where that 12th fret meets the body, uh, that's just going to be sort of cutting off that length in half. It's another thing. The 12th fret position on any guitar is a, the exact halfway point between the entire scale length. That's where we get our octave. Um, so you can have a 14th fret guitar uh, with a short scale. Um, it's just really what's important is that on a 12th fret, the bridge and the bracing and the sound hole are all in different places to kind of accommodate. Um, and often with a 12 fret, you're going to get a much more bassy, uh, kind of full sound, um, and sort of similar to some of the, uh, the similarities between the short and long scale distinction. 12 fret guitars will lose a little bit of clarity and, and balance. In return, you get a, a big full bassy presence. And then with a 14 fret, um, kind of like long scale, and there's, there's reasons why they're often associated with one another. But with a 14 fret, you'll get more articulation. Um, and kind of balance from bass to treble. Um, but I thought it might be good to mention a few different guitars we've got that kind of check all those boxes. So here are some examples of some of the different combinations between uh, 12, 14 frets of the body and short long scale. So for example, we've got a 14 fret short scale guitar uh, in the Colling CJ35, which is gonna be kind of based on a Gibson J35. Um, so you've got 14 frets of the body, you've got a short scale length. So that, that's going to be, uh, you get some nice clarity because of the 14 frets of the body, but you can really dig into it and get a nice punchy sound out of it uh, because that's short scale. And even though it's a bigger body guitar, because of the short scale, uh, finger style is definitely something that you can do on that. In terms of 14 fret long scale, um, a lot of dreadnoughts are going to are gonna have that. Um, one that comes to mind is a Santa Cruz pre-war OM we've got in uh, Sitka and East Indian Rosewood. Uh, just very articulate, very balanced. Um, but the Rosewood is a little bit of a dramatic kind of tonal response you get, but a really clear, honest guitar that uh, you can lay into too, get some volume out of. On the uh, 12 fret side of things, in terms of a 12 fret short scale, and this would be a common one too, much like the long scale 14 fret, but a 12 fret uh, short scale would be a 001 that we've got from Collings, an Adirondack and Mahogany. Uh, so again, that's going to be a really uh, full, punchy, um, rich, kind of bassy sound. A lot of folks um, really, really, with, when it comes to small body guitars, 
12 fret short scale is, is a very traditional build. Um, it, it's, it's easy to see why. It's a great, great sound. Um, but on the other end of things, you can also have 12 fret long scale. Um, so we've got a Santa Cruz D12 that's going to be a slope shoulder dreadnought, kind of like the CJ35. It's braced differently, um, but with 12 frets in a long scale as opposed to 14 frets in a short scale. So with that, you're going to get real clarity and volume from that long scale. With the 12 frets, even more of a bass response and kind of a big, rich presence. Um, so feel free to check all those links out. And of course, you know, it, I'm, it was kind of isolated to Collins and Santa Cruz, but naturally all of our manufacturers kind of play around with these different combinations of frets to the body and scale length. Um, so I, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if you have any more questions about any of those specific combinations, how it works with different body styles, anything I didn't cover in this pretty general overview, uh, give me a call. Let's talk more about it. Uh, once again, this is Barrett at SoundPure. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.